Well, good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. We're starting a new program this quarter, and we want you to come and join us. We're at the farm, can you tell? We're going to learn lots of wonderful things this quarter as we come to the farm and learn about how Jesus loves us and all that he gives us on the farm. But before then, we want to start with our morning exercises. So let's get our sticks out. Do you have your sticks or some wooden spoons you can hit with us? And let's sing our TikTok song. <laughs> Thank you for 
for this Sabbath school and the boys and girls that are either watching online or right here in our room. Will you please come and meet with us today? We thank you that you will do as you've said. Give us a good time in Sabbath school and help us to learn of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Well, before we begin our program, I'd like to say good morning to everybody that might be viewing online. So let's see, who do I see out there today? Why, I see Elise and Aubrey. How are you girls doing? I hope things are good in Michigan. I see Easton. I see Reagan. And there's Everly and Jax. How are you guys doing? I see Becca. Hi, Becca. And I see Annie. And Finley, how are you guys? And Kim and her little sister, Loon Kim. I see Cheyenne. I'm missing you, Cheyenne. So good to see you. There's Oliver. Hi, Oliver. There's Brielle and Luke and probably Emily, too. I see Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Well, there's Drake and Marcy. Good to see you guys. There's Nathaniel and Andrew, some of my favorites. Good to see you, boys. I see Rose, and I see Rachel. Good morning, girls. I see Kaylee and Colton. Always good to see you guys. Why, there's Maverick and Maddox. So glad to see you. And River. Hi, River. I always enjoy seeing you on Sabbath. There's Titus, Ade, and Winston. Glad to see you guys. How are things in Montana? And there's Evelyn and Erica. Always a pleasure to see those girls. We miss you guys. There's Lily and there's Owen. So happy to see you this morning. And Gunnison is right here with us, though you can't see him. He's behind the camera, but he's with us today. And there's Kaylin and Colton. So glad to see you guys, all of you. We welcome you to Sabbath School. So happy you're here with us. All right, boys and girls, it's time for our memory verse. Where do we find our memory verse? It's found in God's Word, the Bible. In the Bible. And if you want to take out a little Bible and look at it while we say our memory verse, you can do that. Our lesson this week is about a special lady named Mary. That Jesus said, wherever her story was told, or the story of Jesus was told. The story of Mary and what she did for him would be told too. So here's a picture of Mary. She's down here at Jesus' feet and she's washing his feet. Let's say our memory verse together, shall we? She has done. She has done. What she could. What she could. Mark 14, 8. Mark. 14, 8. That's great. And now, come on, boys and girls, let's go to the farm. Can we sing our memory verse song? to go and start his farm chores. 
And when he gets up, the stars are still shining in the sky and the sun has not come up yet. So let's get our stars out. Would you like to hold a star, Gunnison? And Roman's got his star. And let's sing about the twinkling stars. This world is full of twinkling stars, twinkling stars, twinkling stars. The sky is full of twinkling stars. God made it so. God made it so. God made it so. The sky is full of twinkling stars. God made it so. Well, finally, as Farmer Brown finishes his chores, the sun is starting to come up. So let's get our sunshine mitts, or you can make your arms like a sunshine, and let's sing about the sunshine that Jesus gives us. Who can make the sunshine? tractors, don't they? And on the farm, the farmer Brown has to ride his tractor and plow his field so he can plant his crops. So let's ride a tractor this morning while we sing. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, 
squash. What is this? Um, Asparagus. You like that one. And how about cucumber. these? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. And what are these? Peppers. Peppers. And? Um, Eggplant. Yeah. Yummy. Good things to eat are growing in our garden. Let's pick our garden, shall we, this morning? Good things to eat. Well, let's 
feed the dog. Shall we give? Oh, there it is. I found it. Let's feed the doggies, the puppies, some bones. Can you turn around? Turn around like this, like this. So I 
Our story today is about Jesus, a lady named Mary, and a very rich man named Simon. Simon was very, very rich. He had lots of money, Roman. Would you like to put your hand out? Oh, man, and he would count his money. He had so much money, he didn't know what to do with it. Is there more in there? Okay, and you can put it all back in then when you're done. One day, though, Simon got sick. He had some terrible sores all over his body. We call it leprosy. Nobody could heal him, not even the doctors. But Jesus came along, and Jesus made him well. Without Jesus, he would have died. Well, Simon was so happy. Don't you think he would be happy if you were going to die? And somebody made you well? Oh yes, Simon was very, very happy. And he decided that he was going to throw a big party and that Jesus was going to be the guest of honor at the party. So he invited all of his friends and they got ready to have a party for Jesus and his 12 helpers. Mary and her family were invited. Now Mary had a very big problem. She had been a very, very bad woman. She had done some bad things. In fact, she had broken Jesus' happiness rules. And she knew that she had sinned and that she was bad. The things she'd done were bad. But Jesus met Mary, and guess what? He forgave Mary, and he helped Mary. And oh, Mary was so, so happy that Jesus had forgiven her sins. She was so excited that she decided, I'm going to save my money and I'm going to find the special, the most special, perfect gift for Jesus. So she saved her money and she gathered it all together and she went to the stores. And she thought, what can I buy Jesus? What can I give him? Well, she finally found the perfect gift for Jesus. It was a very, very expensive perfume. And oh, she spent all of her money. It was so much money that it would have probably taken her a year to save that money from her work. So she bought the gift and she thought, I'm going to take that gift to Jesus, and I'm going to pour it on Jesus' feet, and I'm going to thank him for what he has done for me, because he was so good and so kind and so loving to forgive my sins, because that big problem I couldn't take care of by myself, but Jesus could, and he made me clean and new. So she went to the party, and she thought, I'm just going to do it very quietly. Nobody will even know. So she took that bottle, and it was made in a special box. And she broke the box open. And she took that perfume, and she started rubbing it on Jesus' feet. And then her hair was long, and so she took her hair, and she wiped and dried Jesus' feet with her hair, and she was so happy that she was crying, and her tears fell down onto Jesus' feet, and she was wiping that with her hair, and oh, nobody knew what was happening at first, because they weren't paying attention to Mary. Let's see if we see the picture of Mary washing Jesus' feet, shall we? Oh, well, first, let's look and see. There's the special jar that Mary had, the alabaster jar with the gift. Do you want to sit down, Roman, so you can hear? And Mom, she took it. Look. Mommy. She, let's put it in here. Can you do that for me? 
She took it to Jesus, and there you see her down here. She's crying and washing Jesus' feet with the perfume and crying and wiping with her hair her tears away. And Jesus looked lovingly at her. But do you know what happened? What happens when you open a bottle of perfume and you do this, maybe? Can you see that? <gasps> when you give a spray, what happens when you do that? Can you smell it? Yes! And Mary's rich gift started smelling up the room. And people were saying, what's that smell? What is that smell? Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that is a rich perfume. And finally the people noticed it was Mary. And she was putting it on Jesus' feet. And she was crying softly. Oh my, Judas, Jesus' disciple, looked and he said, Why is this being wasted on Jesus? That perfume cost as much as a whole year's wages. We could have taken that money and fed many, many poor people with that money. Oh, Mary felt so bad. She was so sad because she wanted Jesus to like her gift. Oh, but Jesus spoke up and he said, Oh, no, no, don't condemn Mary. Don't say that about Mary. She has done what she could. You will always have the poor people with you. You will always have them that you can give your money to. But she's not going to have me much longer because Jesus knew that he was going to die soon for our sins. And he said, what she has done was to help prepare me for what's coming. And it made Jesus so very, very, very happy that Mary had done this special act of unselfish love for Jesus. Well, Jesus had been happy with her gift, hadn't he? He didn't condemn her at all, and that made her very happy. He knew that she was saying thank you to Jesus for helping her to get away from Satan. Do you remember to thank Jesus for all the things he gives you every day, Roman? I know that when I pray with you at night, you remember to thank Jesus for different things. What are some things we can be thankful for? Um, what is something that you are thankful to Jesus for? The moon and the stars. That's a great thing to be thankful for. The moon and the stars are gifts from God, aren't they? Here's a little girl that is saying her prayers, and she's saying thank you to Jesus too, isn't she? I like to say thank you for Roman, for my daughter Brianna, for my husband. I thank Jesus for the birds and the trees and the flowers. I thank Jesus for rain and sunshine. Can you think of something else you'd like to thank Jesus for? Well, you keep thinking. Margo. Margo, our puppy dog. She might have, you might have seen her earlier. Well, I hope that you'll remember to say thank you to Jesus for all the good things he gives to you, boys and girls. And thank you to your mom and your dad for teaching you about Jesus, too. Here's Margo. Okay, Margo's going to help us say our memory verse in Roman 2. She has done. She has done what she could. What what she could. Mark fourteen eight. Mark fourteen eight. There we go. Thanks, boys and girls. I'm glad you liked the lesson today. I know I did. That's one of my favorite stories. Shall we say our prayer while while we finish up here? We thank you, Jesus, that you love us. We thank you for all the gifts you give to us. Help us to remember to say thank you always and be with us, Jesus, until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, boys and girls, I've had a great time with you today. We were going to sing our goodbye song now, and we will, we will see you next week. Can you sing our song with us while we wave? Our Sabbath school is over, and we are going to church.
Thank you.